one in this scene, I once again appreciate what Uri did. This time, he met with Nayong and asked her to go to a cafe. But Nayong requested to drink alcohol and eat together instead of going to the cafe. However, Uri firmly answered that he would never drink alcohol or eat with Nayong again. As Uri was about to leave for the cafe, Nayong asked if he was still angry with her. Here, Nayong told Uri that he was right, as it was actually Nayong who had misunderstood Suji and she already knew that Suji would stop broadcasting on television. I'm quite certain Nayong wouldn't have admitted this if it weren't for Suji. Nayong then apologized to Uri once again for misunderstanding Suji. Uri reminded Nayong that he had previously told her to apologize to Suji, not to him. Nayong responded by saying that she would meet Suji and apologize to her. I doubt she will actually do it. When Nayong asked Uri to stop being angry with her, Uri clarified that he wasn't angry with her. Uri then told Nayong that they didn't need to go to the cafe as she would talk to her there. What he wanted to say to Nayong was that he was grateful for her affection, but he couldn't accept her love. Additionally, he asked Nayong not to meet him just to discuss this matter this again in the future. After conveying what he wanted to say, Uri left. This is where Nayong screams and asks Uri if this is all because of Suji and if Uri likes Suji, which is why he cannot accept Nayong's love. Uri remained silent and didn't answer Nayong's question. In my opinion, whether Uri likes Suji or not, it's natural for him to reject Nayong's love as Nayong is not a woman worthy of being loved and her annoying nature means she doesn't have anyone who can genuinely like her. Okay everyone, that's the scene for this time and thank you for watching my video.